G'day, Keithy here. Thanks for joining me again. Welcome along. We're working on the car again. I've got a little bit of time, as you probably know, to do school runs and all that other kind of stuff. And I need to keep this thing able to go if I need it. So I can't really get into those those multi-day type teardown jobs. So I've got to do things when I can and make it all happen. Um, what are we doing today? Let's go and have a look. So first objective is, you'll see this here, chuck down in the comments if you know what this is, you can pause it and write a comment. So what I'm doing with that, um, these are the dust covers that go on your disc brakes on Range Rover P38. Other four wheel drives, cars have got them. I actually think it's a legal requirement to have them, just quietly. I have to look at it, look at this. Just touch it, no good. Okay, so why am I replacing these? Because these are very rattly. So, um, Cape York, as you probably all know, I've been blabbing on about Cape York since the cows come home. Um, it was fairly hard on the car this year, even though the roads were really good. Um, I had to do a lot of servicing when I got back from the Cape this year. And one of the things that I noticed is after all the corrugations, and there wasn't a lot, but that what there was was pretty decent. Um, all of the dust covers for my disc brakes are actually starting to rattle and make noise. So you're driving along, it sounds like something from the 1920s, a dirty old hillbilly machine. Uh, and I don't like that. I don't like to roll like that. So I've got to fix this up so that when I'm driving around, it doesn't sound like a rattle, shake and bang machine. Um, I've already done the front one. So this is one of the front ones. This is actually off the black Range Rover, funny enough. Um, the, the other two, actually, I'll show you right now. Come in here. Look at this poor Ute. I haven't driven it for a long time. So this here, this here is one of the ones off the front of my Range Rover. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see there's been some rubbing in here. So that's actually been rubbing on the brake rotor, the brake disc. Uh, that was making quite a lot of noise, but you can see there, there's a snap there. There's a snap there. And there's a snap there. So what's actually happened with this, it's rattled and vibrated to the point where it actually wasn't even attached to the car. It was just sitting there doing its own thing. Uh, and that's all good and well, except it makes a hell of a lot of noise and it's not doing what it's supposed to do. And it was creating wear to my brake rotors as well. Can't have that. So for now, I'm removing them all together. Um, I'll go and search the wreckers or whatever and probably end up finding um, ones to replace the ones that were there. But for now, I'm just gonna take them off because driving around town on the road, it's not gonna hurt anything. Um, with the offset on this car, which is positive um, 57, I think it is. Um, it's not like the brake discs, discs actually sit inboard of the wheel. They're actually protected by the wheel. So um, I could get away with that for a little bit until I can find some replacement ones. But there's another job I'm gonna take you along for the ride for too. And that's this bad boy here. Um, as you would have seen when I got my package the other week when I was doing the um, EAS stuff. I've got a new steering damper. So my steering damper in this thing is cactus. Uh, it was probably cactus before the Cape trip, to be honest, because um, it, it had started to weep a little bit of oil past the seals and whatnot. Uh, it was just a, a dirty old um, Brit part one that I got maybe four years ago. And I thought, oh yeah, she'll do the job. And it's done its job, but now it's starting to squeak as well. And it's not even um, dampening anything. So that's got to go. I've got this Bear Mark one here. I thought I'd give them a go. Um, they're a bit of a premium brand from what I understand over in the UK. So we'll see how that one goes as well. Come along, I'll try and make this one short and sweet for you. And uh, a bit less yabbering, a bit more working on the car. So I'm going to use these things here. These are the standard wheel chocks that come with these Range Rover P38s. I've never used them and I bet about six people in the life of a P38 Range Rover have ever used them. They're, um, yeah, I don't know. They do the job, but... I mean, if you're out bush, I normally find a stick or something that I can chuck a bit of timber or something that I can chuck in the way. What else we got to use? Okay, so we're going through tools. I've got my socket set there. I've got my impact sockets here. Because I'm going to be taking the brake disc off to get these um, dust covers off. You actually got to remove the brake disc, which means removing the calipers and the disc. And um, if you saw that little short video that I did, which was like probably eight minutes anyway, um, those little screws that hold the brake rotors on there, they irk me, so I'm gonna put new ones in there at the same time and sort that out. So that's a good double job right there. 
Um, I've got the, obviously got the impact wrench jack stand because when you're working underneath your car, that's a pretty good idea. Where are we? There we are. Trolley jack. So that's another important tool here. Let's get going. That's going to be fun. Alright, so this is our culprit here. You can see the bracket that it mounts to, and this part up the top here is obviously snapped, which is making all the noise. So I'll take that off and see if I can fix it, and then I'll put it all back together. Well, that one wasn't as bad as the others. It's still getting chained out. I'm not going to have this silly bloody thing. this one sit for a little bit all right so after a bit of persuasion we've got the brake disc off here's our problem funny that that's actually snapped there at the same point that the um, right hand side did as well must be a weak point on these things anyway we'll take him off and um, yeah I'll see if I can get some new ones to replace them with but for now I'm just going to take them off and I'll replace them down the track all right, so that's done. We've got those noisy buggers out of the way. Time to nip these wheel nuts up and then we'll go and change that um, steering damper up the front, eh? All right, so this is the steering damper and you can see there's a little bit of oil and stuff on it. So... I think she's pretty well done. It's a bit squeaky as well, so I'd say there's not much oil left in there. Time to get rid of it. Put a new one in. So here's our new Bearmark steering damper. Looking good, ready to go. Let's put some nuts and bolts in.
there we go, done. I'm expecting it'll be a pretty nice thing to drive with a new steering damper and now that those dust covers are off until I get some new ones that aren't broken, it should be a lot quieter as well. Anyway, thanks for just sticking around, having a chill out with Keithy. Hope to see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.